No one's going to, uh, no one will have ever asked you this question before. So I'll give you 10 seconds to think about it, Chris. I mean, you'll have like 30 seconds to think about it. I buy a car from you today. Okay, new, used, doesn't matter. How many times will I hear from you over the next four years? Next four years? Yeah. I'm going to hear from 10 seconds. Be thinking, Chris. Be thinking. Mm -hmm. 40. 40? Roughly 40. In four years, 10 times a year, you got your birthday, four holidays, you got your every four months checkup. Ask All right, you. stop. Yes, I mean, you're probably... Stop, 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 stop. I, number one, I'm very impressed with your answer, but I've got to dig a little deeper. Are you contacting your customers 10 times a year? Yeah, but it is with the help <laughs> of the system. Well, I mean, the, no, the, I, so, I know, so, I know you got a CRM. Probably there's no seven. CR. There's no CRM on the planet that has somebody contacting their customers ten times a year. This is pretty legit. I mean, God, yeah, because I'm backed oh, you're up. You're saying right that now. every Christmas you're calling every one of your customers at Christmas time. Yeah, like I, I'm backed up right now. I'm calling birthdays, which I know is bad. Happy birthdays, birthdays, birthdays but yeah, birthdays. like so it's yeah. I try. I mean, I try to obviously. Okay, Chris, you know, how about you? Yeah, it's, well, just in listening, uh, probably about twenty. Okay. It's you know. It's the day after the sale. It's a week okay. after the sale. Well, I, I know initially we do it because we have to for the uh, for the uh, for survey. Any, are you talking any of the way? Any, any of the any of them. Yes, I any of them. Probably. Any of them. And then you know every birthday we're sending them either an email or late. late okay. Good. Sale. Good. Good. Anniversary. What uh, you, vehicle anniversary? Via purchase of the vehicle. <clears throat> Plus, anniversary. then you got right. year leases. You got nine month leases. Yeah, seven it, month, and I if mean, somebody's in a lease, it's you're one year out. You're you know, nine months out. Six months out. Definitely well, not as much as here. Well. here well, I, I'm very pleased to hear this because here's what I know based on data: a uh, hundred people bought a car in Somerset. Pennsylvania a year ago today, statistically speaking, what percentage will be able to give you their salesperson's name? 20, probably. I'd say a little higher with us anyway. It's probably less. 10. People don't remember shit. Yeah. One, out of, one out of 10 can give you the salesperson's name a year down the road. But if you're contacting me 10 times a year and you're contacting me five times a year, chances are I would know your names. Okay, and I'll tell you why that's important in a, in a few minutes. Um, Kyle, never, ever, 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 ever let the customer forget who you are, okay, once they buy a car from you. And I'll give you ways to do that. Prospecting evidence, social media. Um, do not present yourself as a car salesperson. What do I mean by that? Well, you said you're here to help them. Yeah, yeah. Pre present yourself as a subject matter expert. Chris? Your subject matter expertise is helping people buy cars. Zach, you help people buy cars. You know more about how to buy a car right now than 90% of the people on this planet. Maybe 95% of the people on this planet. Okay? Present yourself that way, not as somebody selling cars. Um, the telephone, obviously. The service lane. Do you guys spend any time? Walt, do you have your guys spend any time in the uh, service lane in the mornings? Yeah, he's yeah. the biggest advocate. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, a, it's, it's bro I mean, that's how I end up ended up buying a car three weeks ago. Okay, somebody was working the service lane. I had a 2021 with 37,000 miles on it. Okay, um, but this lady was not afraid. Um, do you guys have Auto Alert, Mastermind, Revenue Radar, any of those things? Uh, those are all software programs that when someone comes into the service department, uh, it gives you the amount of equity they have in the car, tells you which, which yeah, people. Yeah, we have that through. Um, you know, the, factories, the factories yeah. have got yeah. these programs. Do you guys, use, do you guys work, it very, work it very hard? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we work the service appointments hard, and, then it, and through that, I know that. It, so yeah, I'd say we're pretty good at that. I mean, okay. that's kind of like, like he said, it's like my job is like to be constantly. That, that would be you. When you popped in today, the numbers we were given for a guy was yep. from service. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, good. I, I spent some time at a Honda store in California that had a manager and seven people dedicated completely to the service department. All salespeople. That's how they met. They how didn't take. Are it. They? Um, there, was, there was a number one Honda store in the world, okay. um, uh, and they probably, I don't, I mean, the service lane, they had eight 
different service lanes. But those seven people were dedicated. I mean, they didn't take internet leads. They didn't take phone ups. They didn't take walk. They didn't take walk ins. Their entire living was off selling to service customers. All right, um, prospect using multiple channels, prospect every day or every other day or once a week. It all depends on how successful you choose to be and how much money you choose to make.